Hi, welcome to Shelly's Everyday Prepping Adventures. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about um, some of the farmer's woes we have going on here. Um, I grew up on a farm, as I've told you before, and um, milked cows for 30 years. And um, still now we do um, grain farming. So the other day, um, this big tractor here I'm going to show you, had a flat on its rear tire. And the rear tire is as tall as I am. It's a very big tire. Now here, let me show you the tractor. See the silos back there? But this is the tractor. Okay. And that, my friends, is the tire that I'm talking about. It's not the exact tire, but um, luckily um, my father was able to repair the tire, but uh, he also called because he wanted to have backup for maybe another tire. So he called the local John Deere people and asked about the price of a tire. The price was ranged between $1,800 and $2,000 for one tire. So I, a lot of people don't see what's going on except for what they see in their own backyard. And I, I can't blame them for that. That's all they know. Um, but I wanted to share with you, you know, a little bit, a little bit about what's going on in the farming communities. Um, so the price of diesel is going through the roof. Um, and you need diesel to plant, you need diesel to harvest. Um, there's a lot of things, you know. Then you have the price of the upkeep on the, excuse me, the equipment. Um, the price of everything has doubled and tripled in the last couple of years. So everybody's struggling, struggling, struggling. Uh, I don't know where this is going to end up, but I do know that um, it's not, it's not great. It's not great at all. So I'm doing a little walk around the farm. We do, as I said, grain farming. And my dad said he needs another 4,000 gallons of diesel fuel, but at $6 a gallon, he really can't afford it. So there's that. Um, here's another tractor. Yeah. Um, and then, I mean, this equipment is big equipment. Um, people don't always realize this. They don't understand the cost of some of these things. Oh, it's just a tractor. Well, this just a tractor costs more than uh, your house sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. So here we have a disc, tractor with a disc hooked to it. And we've been getting the fields ready to plant because that's the time of year it is. So um, it's been busy. We've been working pretty hard. I always love this time of year. I love the smell of fresh turned dirt. Um, again, I, I don't know where this, this crazy food prices and everything is going, but I know it's not a very good place at all. <sighs> we went into Walmart the other day, my husband and I, and he didn't realize this, but um, I had to point out the, um, the baby food, the baby formula. There wasn't any on the shelf. It was practically empty. And I was telling my sister-in-law, whose son is expecting a baby, I said his wife may have to breastfeed at this point. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know if there's going to be baby formula. We don't know if there's going to be anything. I mean, it's such an uncertain time in the world right now. Um, I hope everyone is doing their part to maybe grow a garden, grow some stuff, whatever you can do to help supplement your um, your grocery bill so that it's not as high. Uh, anything you can do will help. Grow something. Um, I hope you're stocking. I don't believe in putting all my eggs in one basket, so to speak. 
um, I want a backup for a backup for a backup. So yes, I am going to stock canned goods and then I'm going to grow a garden. That's my backup plan. Um, I try to keep in, you know, I, I try to keep backup plans. It's like uh, my husband is a heating and air conditioning man. And when we got married over 30 years ago, he said, I don't understand why people don't have backup heat. It never occurred to me. I'm not a heater person, right? <laughs> but he had a really good point. He said, if your heater goes up in the middle of the night, why well, have to wait for a repairman to come out? You should have some backup heat. Something. Something for backup. Um, our backup is a wood stove. Um, and I'm pretty sure that with the price of diesel fuel, we're going to have to be using a wood stove this coming winter. But we shall see. Um, the rumor is that it's going to be over $9 a gallon by the time heating season comes. So I don't know. Anyway, um, so yeah. So, I mean, you need a backup plan for everything that you do. Everything. Um but people don't think very far ahead. Yes. Do you hear that peacock? We have peacocks here. Yes, I would show you, but they are roosting right now. It's getting late. Uh, maybe I'll do that in another video. But I want yeah. to... How did we get peacocks? Everybody's always asking. We got peacocks about 45 years ago. My aunt gave a pair of peacocks to my uh, grandfather. And they told him, oh, they won't, um, they won't multiply in captivity. Well, when you turn them loose on a 450 acre farm, they're not necessarily in captivity, are they? So they, at one time we had over 200 peacocks. Now I'd say we probably have about 50. I mean, we do have, um, we have foxes and we have, um, some, uh, coyotes here um so they tend to get plucked off every now and then but we still have them and um they're beautiful i have a grooming shop that i put in the um the old milk and parlor where we used to milk cows that would be i don't know if you it's right down there where the big window is Doo -doo -doo, right in there and um, I have clients come down and they're like, you've got peacocks. They're so beautiful. And they are beautiful. I'm a little concerned about the avian flu. I hope that nothing happens to them. I did, um, I did talk about uh, our local park where my husband and I like to um, ride our bikes. They had over 40 um, vultures that had died from the avian flu but um, the number is now up to 100. So nobody's allowed to walk on the trail. And at first I didn't really understand why, why can people be out in boats on the river? Cause it's the trails right on the river, but they can't be walking the trail. Well, then I realized because you're gonna walk through whatever it is that they have, you know, any of their uh, waste, and then you're gonna carry it elsewhere. So that made sense to me after I really thought about it, which it should have made sense in the beginning, but sometimes you have to think about things a little bit. Um, so I don't know, it might be getting too dark to show you this, but I have three clothes baskets on my um, deck. I bought them at the $1.25 store. They're just three cheap baskets. I lined with um, trash can, trash bags, and I poked holes in the bottom of it put some dirt in there and I um, planted some potatoes. Like I said, I don't know if we'll be able to see this. It's getting dark. Uh, oh, look, yes, there's my little potatoes. Um, they're growing really well in my baskets. I was very pleased with, very, very pleased with my potatoes. So, We've had Saturday, this is Wednesday. Saturday, we had over three inches of rain. Things are drying out some, and I'm hoping to get into the garden soon. I told you I've been doing double time work because I want to make enough money to pay off some bills. So I've been working a lot and I'm exhausted. 
<laughs> as you can probably imagine. But anyway, so I want to get into the garden some more, but um, it's going to have to wait until the weekend when I have more time. Uh, my husband might get in there before I do. I don't, I don't know. He may try to. He does work. Um, he works for our local um, school board uh, as heating and air conditioning man. And um, he may um, be able to get in the garden before I do. But we'll see how that plays out. Um, we are supposed to get more rain this weekend, which I hope is not true. I would like to send some of it to where there's some drought. I don't, I mean, you know, we're, we're flooded here. It's crazy. Um, anyway, so this is Shelly's Everyday Prepping Adventures. I just wanted to give a little walk and talk and explain to you the prices of things and what farmers are struggling with. Of course, I understand that everybody is struggling with things, but when farmers struggle, it, it, it hits you on the table. So you need to really be thinking about backups, backups, more backups. Okay, so like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notifications bell if you liked what you saw, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Have a great day.